Initiate. Come up to the war chamber. Devin and I have decided that since we might die in the morning, we should, uh... Get hammered! Yes. That. <laughs> On my way. Kenzie? Over here, champ. Did you get lost? No, I just... Ever wore Central here just kind of skews me out. And then someone told me about all those names out there being dead people and it... The garden area thing, it was nice. Yeah, the names hit me pretty hard too when I first got here. I, I was going to leave, but then your boss lady said you were on your way back and... There I am, thinking about dead people, and then of course I suddenly can't get Thaddeus out of my head. I'm really sorry. I know you two were close. He was such an asshole. Did he... When you hung out with him, did he talk about me at all? I... I really looked up to him. Come on. You know he couldn't not mention you. Really? Really. Oh. What'd he say? Huh? Come on, what do you say? He, he said you made him laugh so hard. What? Laughed? Yeah. You know, your whole uh, anti establishment thing. He really got a hoot out of it. A hoot. Okay, well, that's weird. I always thought that stuff annoyed him. He used to razz me about it. Like Devin without the smugness. Yeah, I guess he just laughed a lot on the inside, or like, alone. All right then, I guess my job's done here. I'll be off. If I can remember where the exit is. We're heading out to the deep mirror tomorrow to beat the hell out of Sandra. Wanna come? The ocean? <laughs> oh, hell no. No one from Oriman knows how to swim. Well, neither does anyone from Saren. We'll both be trailblazers. Also, you're good in a fight. We could use that. I helped you out once. Do it again and I'm just another pawn of the hegemony. Count me out, soldier boy. Worth a try. Swell digs, by the way. Pretty enlightening seeing how the other half lives. Look now, I grew up in the underbridge. In the slums. I just work here. <laughs> My bad. Totally didn't realize you were keeping it real. Bye, Kenzie. And hey, thanks for the assist with finding the Shrine Forge. See ya, hot stuff.
I've got a hundred of Lori chasing me. Nowhere to go. All by myself. And then, boom! I'm grabbed by the neck. I can't, I can't breathe. <gasps> sure, just interrupt my story in the rudest, most disgusting way imaginable. That's cool. I honestly forgot you were telling one. Oh, did I ever tell you guys about the time I almost turned a hundred years old? My company was holed up in the trenches at True Haven Pass, and I was still assigned to Light Army then. Medical watch, yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a lie. Absolutely serious. The Rashanians hit the trench with an aging spell. By morning, we're suddenly too tired to fight. We're too infirm. Our brains are muddled. We've got the cataracts. So, anyway, I see myself in a mirror, right? I look like my father! My father was a very unattractive man, Jack. We call him the Turtle. I am not going to age well. So tell me, sir, when did you say to yourself, hey, bigotry, it's not really so bad, is it? I have to make a far call. Are you referring, initiate, to why I think the unforeseen are a curse? Uh, yep. Telenir was a small city in Kalthus. The priests there believed that the Lightless were given some divine role by the Pentasad, and they didn't allow Magni within their walls. Can you imagine? A city without magic? Uh, I'm not an asshole, so yes. <laughs> One day, at some morning prayer, a young girl, in Unforeseen, just exploded with wild magic. She died screaming as spellfire erupted from her body. All of Telenir started burning. And because there were no Magni around, this wild magic went unchecked. The whole city and everyone in it were reduced to ashes. That's all very sad and terrible, sir. But we're not all that little girl. That's not how it happened with me. It could have. There's no protection against your kind. And when you do happen, more often than not, people around you die. Okay, enough of that. My father always said the best way to mend bridges between parties that held wildly divergent opinions was to find a commonality in vice. Drink up, nerds. Another. How'd a fucking bird get in here? Oh, good. You see it too. Dude. You still have that thing about birds. Birds absolutely do not give a shit about the way their heads look when they walk. I, I would be more surprised. Another. Dead. Ugh. It's him, isn't it? Sandrak's moving towards the font. Showtime, then. And listen, I may not like what you are, Jack, but I like who you are. That feels really abstract and not entirely okay, but thanks, I think. The Immortals are better because of you. And Lucian may end up surviving because an Unforeseen led the charge. Morning, sir. Unfortunately. It was a good night, sir. I won my retirement fund betting on your skill at beer pong. Wait, you were there? I, I didn't see you. You weren't seeing much by that point, sir. Duty calls, though. 
Come to the docks over in Thaven's Point. We're nearly ready to cast off. All right. <clears throat> See you soon. <laughs>